And staying on with the same story, the Council on American Islamic Relations has also condemned U.S. President Donald Trump's retweeting of anti-Islamic videos originally posted by a leader of a far-right British fringe party. One video shows a group of Muslims pushing a boy off a roof. Another one shows alleged immigrants hitting a Dutch boy on crutches. We on, although cannot verify the authenticity of these videos. Donald Trump, who has 43.5 million followers, retweeted these videos without any comment. The videos were originally posted by Jaida Franson, who has been found guilty of religiously aggravated harassment after she verbally abused a Muslim woman wearing a hijab. Trump's decision to retweet the videos prompted criticism, with some British lawmakers demanding an apology and U.S. Muslim groups saying that it was thoughtless. And now we're joined by our correspondent in the U.S., Andy Rosgin, who is in Chicago. Andy, I would like to ask you, what does this tweet that Trump has tagged Theresa May in, what does that imply? Well, uh, he's been taking much more heat uh, throughout the day uh, for these uh, tweets, uh, tweeting these videos. Um, and today he made it clear that uh, he was not happy with some of the pushback that he got from Prime Minister Theresa May. Uh, as you uh, said there, I believe you, you mentioned uh, his tweet, which was, don't focus on me, Theresa May, focus on the destructive radical Islamic terrorism that's taking place in the United Kingdom. Uh, you know, all day today, across the U.S., as the day has progressed, uh, there's been a lot of pushback over his initial tweets, his retweets of these videos. Uh, and in fact, he got a ton of pushback. When his press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, told reporters that it didn't matter if these videos were true or actually, you know, real videos, and, and one, there's been serious doubt cast on one of them at least, it didn't matter that what he was talking about, uh, radical Islamic terrorism, was the important point. Uh, she and the president have been getting a ton of pushback on that, so clearly the criticism is piling up and he is feeling it. Right, Andy, thank you for that input. And I would also like to ask you that the White House has defended Trump and his retweeting of these anti-Islamic videos. What does that say about the current atmosphere in the White House? Well, uh, you're hearing a lot of speculation around the White House right now, frankly, that uh, his subordinates are, you know, simply going out on the limb that he has established. And there's actually been quite a bit of talk uh, in the mainstream media, that he is not well, that he is actually mentally unstable, uh, that he is now sending out tweets that are beyond uh, any boundaries, that he's gone off the rails. Uh, that's been made before, but more and more, um, these kinds of tweets that he sent out today, uh, it makes people wonder if there really is a, a mental stability problem. And I hate to say that. I'm just quoting what a lot of people are talking about here in America. Of course, his defenders, his supporters say, no, no, of course not. Um, he's pointing out a, a larger problem here, and that's what he tried to point out in his criticism of Theresa May. Um, but there are plenty here in America who are not happy about these tweets. And even his supporters, I must say, many of his own supporters are telling him saying that he should not be tweeting. He should stop the tweeting because it just needlessly adds uh, to his problems. And this is a yet another example of that. Absolutely. Thank you, Andy, for joining us. And as always, we appreciate your input.